Hello, everybody. It is Friday, May 1st, 2020. We are here with your rundown of what things are happening today. First off, a general announcement stuff right up above me, right up there. Make sure you're filling out that attendance stuff. Remember, you can always go back and resubmit assignments. Just make sure you fix them up and let the teacher know when you're doing that. Um, and ask for help for any of those things there. Make sure you check out Mr. Hoffman's email today. I believe he should have some stuff in there about the end of the school year. You might have already seen the message going out to uh, your parents from Dr. Hill, possibly. Uh, he has a message out there as well. Um, some stuff about the end of the year coming up. I'll comment more on that next week once you get it from them first. Then I'll kind of reiterate some of their stuff going on there. Um, but we're looking to be wrapping things up here, so make sure that you're finishing strong the rest of this year out. Today, for Friday, besides doing the attendance and watching the video here, we're going to first go over some of the symbiosis worksheet stuff that I saw as I was grading them the other day. A couple of them stood out as being um, some areas, so I wanted to explain some of the answers to it. Um, so I got the worksheet pulled up right here. The first one we got is the barnacles attaching themselves to whales, creating home sites on whales that do not harm the whales. Since this is clearly saying they do not harm the whales. That means it is not parasitism. Some people put parasites on there. Barnacles are not parasites. They don't harm the whales. In fact, the whales don't get anything from them, making that to be commensalism. So that is an example of commensalism going on there. Uh, the other one that people got kind of switched around on was number six, number seven. Number six, you just have a flower pollinated by insects. That's a mutualism relationship for number six there. Flowers being pollinated is a good thing for the flowers, while in turn, the moths get the nectar from the flowers. So they get food, flowers get pollinated. It's a win-win. That is mutualism going on there. The seventh one was also one that threw some people off. The snails outgrowing their shells, abandoning them, leaving them behind. Hermit crabs come up and scoop up their shells and live inside those shells. That is commensalism because in no way, shape, or form does the snail get anything from the crab. The crab is taking advantage of just an empty shell staying there, so he gets all the benefit from the snail's shell while the snail gets absolutely diddly squat, um, which is a good way of looking at the commensalism there. Uh, some of the other ones, number eight, that's competition. They're fighting over the females there to let the female choose who what mate they want to go with. Nine, that was, this is kind of a weird one because I did not use any animals on that. That is a parasitic plant of mistletoe basically draining all of the nutrients and water from the tree. And it damages them a little bit, but it doesn't just straight up kill them because mistletoe is tiny compared to a giant tree, but it does infect them. It, it acts as a parasite to them. So that one was a parasite relationship there. Uh, most of the other ones, it seems like we got a good idea, good handle on what things were happening around there. Wanted to just mention a couple of those ones that stood out that people quite frequently were... Um, you know, missing, tripping up there a little bit. So let's get into what we're doing today. You're doing the symbiosis videos day two. Now, I did not receive a single email saying that the videos did not work. So I'm assuming everybody did the videos uh, that were with it because I've seen a lot of the day ones turned in already. So let's jump into day two. Oh, I should have transitioned it to make it big there. Boom. I'll do it big for this stuff since this is the newer things. Um, for this one, you do have five different videos because I couldn't find a good video with a lot of them in there itself that was short enough. So I got five individual clips. Um, we got sharks and humans, fish and these isopods. If you want to think about them as giant roly polies, that's what an isopod is. We got a hummingbird and a flower. We got the whale barnacle example going on there. So maybe... There's a clear giveaway there. I wanted to add that one again since that one seemed to trip up a couple of people there. And then we have what is called a mite and a human. Um, now remember, when you're putting the answers here over on the side, when it's type of relationship, you are choosing either predation, 
commensalism, competition, mutualism, parasitism. Since there are five things there, they are not all five going to be represented just like they were the other day. Not all five of them were represented. You could have multiple parasites today. You could have multiple mutualisms today. You could have mu multiple um, predations going on today. So choose whichever one you think is best represented there and then give a reason why. Your reason why is just have to be a complete thought. They do not have to be a complete sentence. And then when you're done with that, as it says at the bottom, Oh, it doesn't say at the bottom on this one. I'll make sure that I add it there, but make sure that you click the link to submit that after you are finished. So, or just make sure you click submit when you are finished with it. Here, make sure to go on classroom and hit submit when you are finished. Boom, you're seeing behind the curtains, how things are done here on the fly. Let's increase that font a little bit. That's a little tiny there. Let's make it more in the center. Let's give it some boldness. Let's italicize it. Yeah, that looks good there. Boom, right there. You saw the inner workings behind it. Um, so just like yesterday, all the links are clickable in the middle there. I'm also going to put each one of these links on the classroom as well. So you'll see a bunch of stuff tomorrow. I just know that uh, those things will be on there in multiple places. And if for some reason you cannot find anything whatsoever or you're having troubles with something, do not be afraid to shout out, send an email, um, and I'll reply to you as quick as I can. But with that being said, finish out this Friday, finish off this week. We just got a little bit more time left here. And hope you have a happy Friday. And always remember that it is a great day to be a junior potter.